Hi everyone, this is Annette at needlepointers.com. Beat the heat and cool off with an attractive neck cooler. Since we are experiencing extremely hot weather, I thought it was time to cool off by making and showing you how to make neck cooling wraps. The neck cooling wrap is made of simple cotton fabric and filled with water beads. These polymer water beads are quite amazing and when soaked will plump up with water, expand, and then release the moisture slowly. So let's get started and learn how to make a cooling neck wrap. What you need to make the cooling neck wrap, water absorbent polymer beads, cotton fabric, threaded sewing machine, chalk marker, iron, rotary cutter and mat optional, ruler or measuring tape, scissors, pin. Fold the fabric in half lengthwise with right sides touching so that it measures two and a half inch by 42 inches. Do not press, simply fold. Measure over from the bottom edge one inch and place a mark. Then align your ruler with that mark to the upper folded corner. And cut on an angle. This will make a nice pointed edge on the finished neck wrap. Repeat on the other end. Using a straight stitch and a half inch seam allowance, start by back tacking at the folded corner. Stitch until you get a half inch from the edge with the needle down Pivot the fabric and continue to stitch until you get to the first set of pins. Don't forget to back tack when you get to them. Remove the fabric from the sewing machine. Skip over to the next set of two pins. Don't forget to remove them. Back tack and then continue to sew. Back tacking when you get to the finished fold. Separate the fabric and with the point of the iron, press the seam open. Do not press on the fold. You just wanna press along the seam. Make sure the edges of the opening are folded over a half inch and pressed. This will make sewing it shut easier after filling it with the water beads. Now it's time to turn the neck wrap right side out. An easy way to do this is to push the end in using a long blunt tool such as a knitting needle or a pencil or a turning or a point turner. Simply start to push it in, then insert whatever you're going to use to turn it and begin to push it. Before you pull it all the way through, use the pointy end of your turning tool to push out the corners. Then 
and pull. Do the same thing on the other side. With an iron, press the entire strip flat. The top here is where it has been sewn. And that should be on one end, and then you'll have a fold on the other end. Make sure that when you get to the opening, the seam is pressed under a half an inch. After it's pressed, find the center of the scarf, which I've already done with that pin. And we are going to mark the center across the band. From the center mark, measure four inches to the right and place a mark. Then from the center, measure eight inches and draw a line again. Do the same thing on the left side of the center line. Four and eight inches. Oops, there. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to the sewing machine and we're going to sew on the middle line and the two outermost lines. On all of these lines, we are going to be double stitching. So begin, I'm doing the middle one first or the center, back tack, stitch forward to the other end. With the needle down, lift the presser foot, turn the fabric, and stitch on the same stitching line. Again, back tacking when you get to the end. You're going to do that, as I said, on the middle and the two outer lines. After sewing the center and the two outer lines, you now have two pockets, but we will have four pockets when we complete the scarf. I use these tiny micro round water beads, which are the size of a pinhead. Okay, we're going to begin to add the water beads and we want to add them to the end pocket that will be here. Here is the opening. So just use a quarter of a teaspoon. That doesn't sound like much, but that's all that you need. Insert it in and have it make sure that it goes down inside of where that pocket is. You can feel them if you touch it. What we're going to do now is we're going to sew that pocket closed. And we're going to, again, double stitch it. Okay, I finished the first pocket. Now we're going to go to the other end and you wanna do the outside pocket on the other end. Again, get your quarter teaspoon of water beads, insert them all the way in so that they'll go down into this pocket. And now we're going to sew this pocket shut. Finally, we're left with the two middle pockets. Again, insert a quarter of an inch 
of beads and this time into each pocket. Make sure that the beads are down towards the folded edge. And what we're going to do is we're going to now edge stitch along this opening to close it up. Right now, I want you to notice how flat the cooling neck wrap is. To activate it, simply get a bowl of water and put it in. And let it soak. Now it needs to soak for probably in the beginning when you first do the beads for two to four hours. So I'll let it soak and then I'll show you what it looks like after two hours. It's been in the water now for two hours and look at how plump the sections are. All you need to do then is to remove it, wring it out, remove some of the water, and wrap it around your neck. If you are finding this video on how to make a neck cooling wrap helpful, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Check out some of our other needlepointers.com videos. Also visit our website for lots of free projects and tutorials. While you are there, sign up for our newsletter so you don't miss new project videos.